Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a weekly horoscope for May 2017 and this is from Monday the 1st of May until Saturday the 6th of May. So let's start with Monday the 1st of May for you coming from Gemini. Now the 1st of May is not going to be very helpful in the morning, afternoon or early evening periods. There are planets of ego which bring about differences between you and others. So watch out at your place of work. Watch out the differences in business with business people and even with your marriage partner or romance partner. Plenty of opposition can be created simply because you are thinking differently. The planets of ego are also very active. So you will tend to be very arrogant, you will tend to be very particular about how you want things done. You will plan to be a person who feels easily slighted and insulted. Don't do that. Don't allow that. If you don't allow that, you will be able to control the planets who want you to behave this way and you will then be able to improve the morning and afternoon session. During the evening and the nightfall session, the situation gets worse. Now there is a danger of accidents, there is a danger of uh, people cheating you or even thieves. There is even trouble about uh, having people stab you in the back like talking bad about you. So be careful that the evening and nightfall session is not very steady, not helpful and even a bit dangerous for you. If you are going socializing with your colleagues or with your business people or with your marriage or romance partner, somehow the ending of the, of the day is not very good. It can produce arguments, it can produce quarrels. Because of the ego planets, it can also produce a lot of differences between you and the people. So think whether it's worthwhile going out socializing on Monday the 1st. Tuesday the 2nd is where there is a lot of water in your horoscope. And when that happens, there's a lack of focus. You are not very sure about what you want to do or how to attend to your duties. Even in areas of marriage or family or romance areas, there will be a tendency to be very sensitive about what is said. But there is some creativity and imagination also coming from these planets. So you may, in a way, in your place of work or in business, get some very imaginative possibilities on how to improve those areas. But overall, the message is focus on what is important. Otherwise, you are going to miss the important duties of the day. During the evening and nightfall session, some slow planets move in, but they are very positive to you. And these slow planets allow you to plan long term. They don't bring immediate good results, immediate possibilities in any area of your life. So more plan long term, meet people who will help you in long term. Some people of your past who are helpful may also be met. So it may be a good idea to socialize with business in mind or go out and meet people. And you may meet some people who will want to help you for your future. Wednesday the 3rd is going to be a very difficult start for you. A group of planets want to trouble you already before you leave home. Trouble already in family or marriage or romance areas. And then when you get to work or if you are going, if you are a business person going into your business office, there is bad news also awaiting you. So there is a situation on the morning and afternoon on Wednesday the 3rd as being under pressure in all areas of your life. Be prepared for it. Don't fight it to the, to the sense that you want to oppose it and you want to try and override it. Find solutions gently and you will be able to correct the day. Basically, I worry that you will get very stubborn. You will want to show your temper. You will want to behave in a way very dominating. You will not want to be cooperative. These are the issues I'm worried about. As the evening and nightfall comes, some very aggressive planets move in. Well, they can make you aggressive a bit in a positive way as to how to find solutions to the earlier part of the day which, which nothing wanted to help you. But I'm also worried that these aggressive planets can make you behave using words which are very aggressive, a tone of voice which is very aggressive, and then arguments can turn very ugly. 
So be careful, stay away from arguments during the evening and nightfall session. And if you are socializing, take the soft approach. That is very important. Take the soft approach and you will immediately soften the situation and not allow it to become intense. All right, that way you might do better a little bit in the evening session. Thursday the 4th of May is a very lucky start for a day. Morning, afternoon, early evening periods, you get brilliant ideas, you are supported at your place of work, in business you get good news and in areas of marriage and family and romance, plenty of possibilities which make the situation very good and happy for you. And if you are looking for romance, the morning and afternoon sessions is when you should make your phone calls, make your contacts, start to plan a date or wanting to meet in the evening, things like that. Okay. So a good morning, afternoon, evening session in all areas. As the evening moves in, ego planets move in. And now they may make you behave arrogantly, wanting you to be in charge, wanting you to be noticed, wanting you to be supported. No harm with that. But don't let that get out of hand. Don't become egocentric. That means you want to be the center of the universe. Don't allow that. Because if you do, then you will find that the support for you will weaken during the evening and nightfall session. And if you are socializing with your colleagues or bosses or business people, if you are in business or with your marriage partner or with your romance partner, don't show arrogance in the evening and nightfall session. Try to be nice and accommodating. The Friday the 5th of May is a wonderful day to start with. You become very lucky in areas of career and business and you attract very good news in your place of work or in the business community. And you also have communication levels which are very brilliant. So project your ideas, project the way you want to get things done. You will have plenty of support in all areas of your life. During the evening and nightfall session, some emotional planets are seen. And these emotional planets can make you firstly be guilty of emotional thinking. That means that you are thinking without facts and figures or without logic. And that's not good at your place of work or in business. It's also not good in your areas of marriage or in your areas of romance. So use logic. The other thing is that during the evening and nightfall session, there are planets that make you restless. So these planets making you restless look for wanting to make changes. Identify why this restlessness is being created. Don't just move along with these planets and then otherwise moodiness is going to become very intense in the evening and nightfall session and that's not good for partnerships of any kind. Saturday the 6th of May also starts very well for you. So the, eve the morning, afternoon, early evening periods, plenty of good news comes your way. If you are working at your place of work, you will be getting some kind of a reward. If you are not working, that is going to be very pleasant in the morning and afternoon and early evening periods. Be with your marriage and family people, with your romance partner. Plenty of bonding, plenty of nice making plans and enjoying yourself is seen. But as the evening and nightfall comes, two very not pleasant planets of yours move in. Now these planets are not just appearing suddenly during the night, during the evening and nightfall session. They are there the whole day. But during the morning and afternoon session, they come in spurts. They come create a little bit of problem and move away. So they don't have the continuity of energy. But the evening and nightfall session, they do have the continuity and energy. And they can produce accidents. They can produce very bad arguments and quarrels. They can produce difficulties of financial news. They can produce opposition getting very strong against you. So think twice whether you want to go out socializing. But if you must, then tell yourself, I will do the opposite during the evening and nightfall period. I will not allow myself to be stubborn or to say things which others don't like to hear. I will use words which are very accommodating and an attitude which others will feel which is very helpful. This way you will confuse your planets and they won't know what to do with you and they'll let you alone. So always remember that you control your horoscope, not your horoscope controls you. So listening to my advice, you will be able to lessen the problems waiting for you on Saturday the 6th of May 
especially in the evening and nightfall session. Well, this is my advice for you. Uh, now, I'm already Skyping with people in the world and I charge USD 50, 50 for a 90 minute Skype session based on your date of birth, your time of birth and looking at your palms while I'm Skype and also looking at tarot cards for you on Skype. So do go to Facebook and follow me and communicate and make a date to Skype or go to Skype itself and communicate with me, leave me a message and I'll come back to you. Until then, thank you and goodbye.